when you and David Lee Roth toured together, and as I under, <laughs> and, yeah. as I understood Sam it, Dave tour. The Sammy Dave tour. And as I understood it, every night you would flip a coin to see who was going to open and who was going to close. No, we just did that the first night to see who opened the first show. Then after that, we flip-flopped. Flip-flopped. Ah, Got yeah. it. Okay. So And, and it was the, the first show was the one in, in Los Angeles? No, the first show was in Cleveland, Ohio. And, and Dave won. He got to close. Okay. But then in L.A., was that on a flip? Yeah. And see, in L.A., it was I my turn. So Dave insisted that we do two nights in L.A., so we did. We could sell out anywhere. It was fine, you know. Right. But, you know, because he had to have, well, he was trying to fight for, well, why I need that town. And I'm going, this ain't a negotiation, motherfucker. You shouldn't be opening it. I mean, you shouldn't be closing the show anyway, to be honest with you. At that time, he didn't have a solo career, really. Right. I mean, he did, but he wasn't, like, selling out. I was selling out arenas. I was selling out amphitheaters with Sammy Hagar, you know, with the Wabos. Uh, and he, you know, I had a solo career. So let, let me just say th this. Ask Mick Jagger, ask Robert Plant. You can be the biggest band in the world, and you can't necessarily have a solo career. Right. But I had a solo career, so when I joined the big band, I went back to my solo career. I'm good. I still sell a lot of tickets. You know, right. Dave, yeah, he had that little, you know, sort of a big album, one kind of a big album, but he didn't have a solo career. You know, he was playing small places, and you know, he w and so when he came in with me, he was making like 25 grand a night. I was making 150 a night, and they said, "Oh, you guys going to make the same money? Dave gets to make 150." I said, "He ain't fucking made 150 in his life except for Van Halen." <laughs> so, but then I, but I said, "I got to do this. I got to do this." So I did. I bent over backwards, did everything, and he still always tried to fuck with the with the rules. Did you? He's did not you? a fun guy. He's not. not he doesn't <laughs> play well with others. He, I'm not sure what his problem is, but. Did did you do the two nights in L.A.? Yeah. And and did you so you each yeah, got we, to close one night? Exactly. Okay. And That's then good. you know, he he just always is about how can I, you know, make this guy look bad, or, or not just me in in life. I mean, you know, how can I make myself? He's a chest beating motherfucker, man. <laughs> yeah. And you know, God bless him, because like I said, that early stuff was freaking great. I you sure. Know, I but I I personally. I've tried to say, you know, he'd be a fun guy to know, but he ain't like that. He ain't like his persona. Right. When you get around him, he ain't that guy, man. He's some other cat. When, <laughs> when you describe what he does on stage as vaudeville, do you, like, uh, like with the, the acrobatics and the jumping and the dancing, like... I, I, well, he's a showman. Hey, listen, I, I'm a showman too, but he's, that's his gig. He doesn't care about singing. If he did, he'd take care of his voice, or he'd take voice <laughs> lessons, he'd warm up, he'd do something, because the guy sings so bad last time he was doing shows, it was embarrassing to me when people say, oh, you were in Van Halen. I'm going, no, no, no. You know, I, would start, <laughs> I would start to deny it, <laughs> just in case they thought I was him. Uh, so Now I see what you mean. Yeah, but he, he's a showman. He just, everything, show, 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 show. And he doesn't care about his voice, which drives me nuts, man. I care more about my voice than I do my dick. Wow. If my dick didn't work a couple of times, I'd be okay with it, but, you know, I'd be bummed out. But if my voice fucks up on stage, I'm fucking bummed, yeah. man, you know? Yeah. Wow. Um, no, no. We, <laughs> well, I, I'm not sure if that's a fact, but, you know, <laughs> as a metaphor, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. When, when you're on the Sam and Dave tour, yeah. you each have your own bands? Yeah. Is that how it worked? Yeah. He had a Van Halen tribute band. He just said, it, this is Van Halen. The guitar player did Eddie's solo, the drummer did, as, and the bass player even played Mikey's bass solo. And he acted like it was a Van Halen show, and it was really the wrong thing. He got ripped apart by the press for it, because... You know, he didn't should have went out and presented himself as David Lee Roth with, you know, his Van Halen stuff and his solo stuff. He didn't play one fucking solo thing. You know, he had some good solo songs uh, last year. You did the Sam and Dave show at the Universal Amphitheater. That was small. See, the reason we did that because Dave, because it was my turn to thing, Dave insisted upon doing two, two nights, so they put us in a smaller place. Normally, we would have played a, a bigger right. thing. Yeah, you mm. know, Dave was he, he was a piece of work. <laughs> Never easy. Really, really something, huh? Um, <laughs> when uh, if he was sitting here right now, we'd be going. The dude would be tripping. He'd be like, "Oh, is that right, Sam?" You know, that's what he. <laughs> <laughs> he call me Sam. I don't mind being called Sam. It's just his attitude. He right. won't look at you and shit. He'll talk to other people about you. Yeah. It's, uh, that's crazy. He's a trip, man. I, I actually like the guy. 
he entertains the fuck out of me. Okay. Okay. I mean, but, I think he is an entertaining guy. I, I, I think I, I. Have you had him on your show? No. Oh well, I, Steve. Oh, I, I, I mean, get to work I'd, on I'd, I'd be open to it, and um, I think I would tell him that uh, while uh, his flamboyance, his his uh, on stage antics and acrobatics and everything is just so fantastic, that between. David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar, I got to believe Sammy Hagar is a happier person. He'd get up and walk. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Save that for the end. Do you like shopping on Amazon? I do. And good news is Steve-O's butt wipes for your butthole are available on Amazon. And if you want a real bundle of a deal, you can get Steve-O's hot sauce for your butthole, plus Steve-O's butthole destroyer, and Steve-O's butt wipes for your butthole. It's the butthole bundle, available on Amazon right now. Yeah, dude.